this dinner party in San Francisco, the guests believe eating less helps you live longer. Some people have more hunger and some people have less, and you do also just get used to it after you've been doing this for a period of time. Michael Ray calls himself a calorie restriction practitioner, devoted to the diet sure for 19 years. So take me back when you initially got started. What was it like for you? It was amazing when I first got started um, because you got this just complete euphoric rush uh, out of doing it. It takes cutting calories to the extreme, in some cases up to 50% less than the recommended 2800 a day for active men, 2200 for women. It's yeah. just a matter of making the math work. But does it add up? Aging is inevitable, but how we age is not inevitable. University of Wisconsin researcher Dr. Rosalind Anderson says long-term landmark studies with monkeys show calorie restriction can extend life and delay diseases like diabetes and cancer. Now, the interesting thing about monkeys is that they age in a very similar way to humans. Almost 30 years after the 1989 study, many of the animals have passed their average life expectancy. You can see even by looking at them, their skin tone Tone, muscle tone, luxurious hair, they really are more healthful than the control animals. At 48, Michael says he's in amazing health. But some medical experts believe the practice also yeah, serves yeah, up but, side effects but, like know, dizziness and exhaustion. We are the study. We are the people doing this experiment. And we don't have the evidence to say it's going to work. Back at dinner, they're planning every meal with precision. So it's basically rice and beans. It's like a big power bar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cooking to make each calorie count now, so they see the gains in life later. Kathy Park, NBC News, San Francisco. Let's bring in our medical correspondent, Dr. John Torres. How could this diet prevent aging? Well, Kate, the premise is that over time, consistently limiting calories actually slows down your metabolism. Your body uses energy more efficiently, and all that means less work, less stress, and ultimately less damage to your cells. So could it be a quick fix for those of us who overindulged on Thanksgiving? <laughs> Absolutely not. This is a very radical approach, and reducing your calorie intake by up to 50% could present problems like muscle or bone density loss, so it requires medical guidance and supervision. It's best to ask your doctor about how to work off all that turkey and dressing. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.